What's going on, Z Nation? And welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zade, here with some breaking news of the 2019 NBA lottery selection. Now, guys, I did upload a video about my thoughts and my opinions about the lottery selection and uh, just before this one. And I gave you guys my thoughts and my opinions. And I actually, I was just giving you guys a, like, a, my own personal uh, opinions about these selections and just trying to be humble about it and not being uh, so uh, I guess optimistic if you think about it like you know of the selection if the Lakers are going to get past the uh, the top 10 and somehow get between the top uh, five or top four or even the number one overall selection but as of right now uh, I have to say guys I am full of smiles when it comes to uh, the Los Angeles Lakers and Kyle Kuzma being our our lucky luck charm uh, for this lottery selection. And as of right now, the Los Angeles Lakers got the selection, the number four overall selection in this year's draft. Um, I just have to say, guys, it opens a lot of uh, opportunities for the Los Angeles Lakers when it comes to a potential uh draft lottery, a draft uh, overall selection when it comes to um, any of the top five uh, contenders for uh, the uh, for the draft. And uh, surprisingly, if I had to give you guys a surprising, uh, uh, surprising opinion of what I saw from the draft was the Knicks. The Knicks got the number three overall selection, and I was very surprised I, I thought they're going to get the number one which re and also what really surprised me the most was uh the new orleans pelicans because it opens a lot of possibilities now now they there is a there is a chance that they are going to select uh zion anderson uh so, no, sorry uh, zion uh williamson when it came when it comes to uh you know him being uh, the prospect of going number one overall in this year's draft and uh Honestly, if if any team in the NBA had the number one overall selection, you should not pass on uh, Zion uh, Williamson because the guy is just on a different level. He's NBA ready and he's just elite. So he's the type of guy that uh, all teams really want. Uh, and obviously by having the Pelicans having the number one overall selection, uh, opens a lot of possibilities. They can either trade uh, the number one overall selection or they could keep it and draft uh, Zion Williamson and just move on and somehow with the whole Anthony Davis situation, uh, he could uh, possibly stay with the Pelicans or the Pelicans might consider just trading Anthony Davis for a potential, uh, I don't know, draft selections and a couple of players attached to it and future first round or maybe second round selections to any sort of team. Um, and obviously in the rumor mill, there's mentions of, you know, the Los Angeles Lakers, the New York Knicks, and uh, there's, there's just a lot of uh, potential teams that could um, somehow uh, make a deal go down when it comes to Anthony Davis. So uh, that sort of prediction could potentially happen, but, um, um, still remains to be seen. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, I am overwhelmed and I'm just so happy by the selection for the Los Angeles Lakers getting the number four overall selection in this year's draft. Because, guys, as of right now, it opens a lot of possibilities now. The Lakers can select anybody from the top five now that are good players, solid players. Uh, and I have to tell you guys, this year's draft is all based off of – mostly point guards and shooting guards so and the main needs that the Lakers are looking at are shooters and shooting guards so um, it just opens a lot of possibilities and uh, I can honestly say if, uh, I can't really give you guys a sort of a what type of player who will potentially land with the Los Angeles Lakers uh, it still remains to be seen what they will do with it if they will decide to trade it and somehow get a player out of it or just somehow uh, use the uh, number four overall selection 
or maybe possibly trade up, and he still remains to be seen. So, uh, guys, please give me your thoughts about uh, the lottery selection. Are you shocked as I am? Because, honestly, I did not see this coming. I was kind of hoping that the Lakers were going to get maybe in the, uh, I don't know, the top 10 or the top 8 overall selection, or maybe top 5, something like that. But I, I was surprised. I was very surprised the Lakers got the number four overall selection in this year's draft all because of our good luck charm with Kyle Kuzma. Uh, I guess maybe the jacket that he's wearing uh, really brought up the luck charm out of it. <laughs> and honestly, uh, uh, I'm just really excited to look forward to uh, the draft combine. Uh, there's a plethora of players who are going to be working out with the Los Angeles Lakers, including uh, our, maybe the the... Zion Williamson and uh, I believe R.J. Uh, uh, Bennett or I believe uh, Barrett, sorry, uh, R.J. Barrett. And then uh, there's a couple of players I'm probably missing out of uh, the list. I I'll put the uh, the top five prospects that 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 most uh, analysts uh, put out there when it comes to the sort of mock draft type selection. Uh, honestly, I can honestly see possibly maybe um and then there's also that one guy uh, john morant from uh michigan uh he's obviously the type of uh, uh point guard slash uh, well he's he's actually i believe he's somewhere around uh, six two somewhere around there uh he he's a good point guard and he's the type of guy who knows how to shoot he's an elite shooter and uh comparing to somebody like uh, rj uh barrett uh, I can honestly say the guy, uh, even though he has a sh sort of a decline when it comes to uh, being a good shooter, he's, his, cap his basketball IQ is there, and uh, judging by the way he plays with uh, Zion Williamson in Duke, he has a lot of capabilities of just being a, a good, solid NBA player down the line. And I'm just really looking forward to the draft combine and see uh, how the Lakers will work out these players and see uh, if they will fit with the Lakers or somehow uh, they will go a different direction with uh, the top five, maybe top six, uh, maybe top five, top ten um, prospects in this year's draft. So it still remains to be seen and we have a long ways to go, uh, just a month away when it comes to uh, the 2019 NBA draft. So guys, please uh, comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. And guys, please give me your thoughts about uh, the number four overall selection. Were you shocked? Uh, honestly, like I said, I was overwhelmed and shocked. Uh, I basically jumped out of my seat when it came to the Lakers not getting the uh, the 11th overall selection in this year's draft. Uh, I kind of didn't really assume that they would go past it, but Judging by the percentage of what I saw, the Lakers um, were just like a guarantee that they were going to get the, uh, the the 11th overall selection. But unfortunately, well, no, not unfortunately. Uh, it is a guarantee, uh, a, a a praise that that went down from the NBA gods that the Los Angeles Lakers are now in place of getting the top five prospects in this year's draft so and still remains to be seen what they will do with the draft will they trade it or they will use it it still remains to be seen so guys please give me your thoughts about the draft and please give me your thoughts about the the prospects uh where you think the lakers will go with when once the uh, the nba uh, draft comes uh just next month uh Please give me your thoughts about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy.